Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at a Popomatic Trouble game. This is a grab and go game from Hasbro. We've looked at a lot of other grab and go games previously. Those links should be in the description of the video. If not, I got really lazy and forgot. Uh, but we looked at the Clue one, the Monopoly one, the Connect Four, and Battleship. So uh, I found the Trouble one. This one's a little harder to find than some of the others. Uh, this is aimed at ages 5 and up, uh, 2 to 4 players, which is really nice because a lot of the other ones, you know, Battleship's a 2 player game, Monopoly is just how to lose friends, and um, uh, Clue is easily for other multiple players, so it's nice to have some options if you have 2 or more people. Um, so let's open this up and see what is actually inside here, because... Uh, I, I liked Trouble as a kid, and uh, I think most people have played it over time. But let's see what this looks like. This is just held shut by a piece of tape, because Hasbro's kind of lazy. I guess so they're getting cheap. I'm going to use the scissors. Don't use scissors without parental permission or permission of a responsible adult if you are not one. All right. What else we got here? Alright, there's some stickers. Let's get the box out of the way. So we got our color-coded stickers. Um, yeah, you'll want to have an adult put these on. Is this cardboard? What is this? Here's the instructions. Uh, contents are game unit, die roller and cover, 16 pegs, label sheet. Object be the first player uh, to move all four of your colored pegs around the board into the finish line. It's got a little instruction sheet, which is cool. So not much to it. It's an easy game. So let's take this off. This does just kind of pop off, more or less. Yep, be smarter than the packaging. You'll want to save this because it does protect the board. Uh, the bottom of the board is plastic obviously um, it's not the highest quality of plastic and it will kind of move along because the popper piece is actually slightly lower than the edge pieces so it does seem a little unbalanced and what we have inside here is a small d6 on a little clicker if you remember those little like cricket clickers when you were a kid that's all this really is now you've got four different color pieces and four of each. So you've got four red, four blue, four green, four yellow. Try not to lose these, these are important. Now realistically you could take these out, put these in these little tray areas here where the stickers go and put this on top and protect them and keep them from moving around. That way you can just keep the, this piece itself and throw out the box. And of course, you know, the stickers are going to go on here and tell you where you need to go. So the, it's all color coordinated. So, yeah. Um, this is actually a fairly thick piece. I'm surprised. Um, you just press down on here and it pops the dice up because that's how the clicker works. And it's just a, like a, that's a pretty small D6. But it seems to work pretty well. Got good random number generation. Let's see how these pieces look. And of course, that didn't open very well. All right. Actually, these are pretty nice. Yeah. They don't. They're very loose in here, though. So if you're in a car and you got big grown-up hands and you hit a bump, they're not going to fall out of here per se, but you might drop one because as you're trying to put it in, you might miss. It's not a very snug fit. So, yeah, they, they do fit in there pretty easily because they are fairly small compared to the actual hole, which I wish they'd tighten that up just a little bit so it's not quite as loose. Like I said, you could toss these in here. I would probably color coat them 
you know, yellow all in one spot with the yellow pieces on the yellow section. Um, I don't know, is that is that segregationist now? So you put all the pieces in here and then you put the cover on it and it just pops into place and it's pretty secure. And then you won't lose any of your pieces. I kind of wish they'd given us a sticker to put on here or, you know, something that said Hasbro Trouble. That would, I think, really kind of flashed it up a little bit. It's a little promotional thing for them. But I understand why they didn't because they're trying to keep this cost really low. Now, usually these things run about five bucks. I've seen them at like the Dollar General for six twenty-five. Big and small lots, same thing. They're slightly higher there. And honestly, they got to keep their cost down because you could buy the full-size Trouble Game for about ten bucks, Walmart. So um, if you're gonna pick this up, pick it up at one of the big box stores. They usually have it for four ninety-five or five dollars, depending on which store you buy it at. Overall, this one I do like. Um, the pieces could get lost really easily, which I do not like. But overall, it's a really simplistic design game. There's not a lot of pieces to it. If it gets broken, you just throw it away. It was $5. But for your $5 money value, I would say it's a pretty good one. Um, it's good for four players. If you don't want to do any like work like in Clue... Uh, this is a good on-the-go travel game that you could throw in an RV, camper, car, whatever that the kids could play in the back. That clicking of that bubble and on a drive, though, that would drive me bonkers and probably inspire me to go on a murderous screaming rampage and throw it out of the window. But some people have better temperaments than I do. So I would probably say that uh, this would be better in a RV setting or a hotel or a camper, you know, you're on a camping trip, this would be a fun one. It's easy to fit this into a an accessory bag or something for the kids to be entertained. Uh, it does have small parts, so it's not for kids under five, or under three, rather. Um, it is aimed at five and up because they have to be able to read numbers and whatnot. So under five might have a little bit of trouble playing the game. <laughs> and it's called trouble. Pun. So overall, I think this is a good one, though. Uh, definitely for the 5 to 10 range, I think it would be fine. It would be a good game for them to play. Older kids might find it passe and a little boring, but it, it's a good family game that you could play. And since it's a travel game, if you're on vacation or something, you want to play something, then it would be a good distraction on a rainy day. But that will do it for this episode. I really like these grab-and-go games overall. I think they're a great idea. This one's probably one of the best ones. I, I think Clue is probably my favorite overall for value for the dollar. But this is definitely a high ranker for me. So in the meantime, we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside. And as always, thanks for watching.